The storm came suddenly and left with almost the same speed. As the last raindrops fell with less force, the sun rose in many parts of the city of Russia. Currently, the epicenter of the storm is in areas such as the capital, where the storm, although threatening due to the dark color of the sky, has surprised the people of Mercia due to its intensity. There are still no significant data on the rainfall that has fallen, but the CHS has recorded 30 liters in an hour in La Contraparada a few minutes ago. The new storm flooded the streets of several towns and caused more than 50 liters in an hour in Mercia. After falling in the interior of the region of Mercia, the storm also hit Los Alcaceres with great intensity, leaving a typical flooded picture next to the Mar Menor. In Molina de Segura, the security counselor assured the truth that the firefighters, police and civil protection had to rescue four people. They were a woman and her eight-year-old daughter on San Juan Street near Chorico Avenue, a driver in the industrial area of La Polvarista, and another on National Highway 301 towards Molina. In addition, AIMA ensures that in the capital it rained in 20 minutes, with an amount greater than the normal average for the summer, June, July, and August as a whole. The tornado that occurred in Mercia will be remembered as one of the worst tornadoes in recent years. In just 10 minutes, 32 liters were recorded, and 43 liters in just 20 minutes. Close to the 40.6 that occurred on September 26, 2022, the maximum record in that time period. The storm is now moving towards Cartagena and the Mar Manor region. The clouds have released another 30 liters in an hour in towns such as La Puebla, the mouth of the Albujan Rambla, and Balsicus. Problems also occurred when driving in the area next to the official language school of Mercia due to waterlogging on the road. The entrance to Ladnora is practically blocked. 
Isaac Newton Street joins Geronimo's Avenue, the main access, which is blocked by a large tree. The specimen, located inside the Nuestra Senora del Paso school facility, has broken down the central fence and fallen on the road. One hundred and twelve received a large number of calls this Wednesday afternoon. The Emergency Coordination Center has dealt with two hundred problems related to rain and storms. Of these, ninety-five were water bailing and thirty-three others due to road obstructions. Seventeen people trapped in the water also needed to be rescued. Another street that is always affected by the storm is the Rambla del Chorico de Molina de Segura, which ends in the center of the city. So it came down full of water. The carelessness of some drivers and the intensity of the rain left a picture like this in Espinardo. A pedestrian was almost dragged by the force of the highway while trying to help a driver who could not continue. The violent storm has been the main protagonist of the afternoon in Vega del Segura. Rainfall of up to 56 liters per square meter in one hour has been recorded in Rincan de Beniscornia, 53 liters in the Mercia Ring Road, 50 liters in La Fica, 47 in El Regarin, in El Palmar, and 45 in Contraparada, in the municipality of Molina de Segura. The rain also fell heavily in Alguazas, with more than 38 liters accumulated in the Los Rodeos Reservoir and amounts above 20 liters in Mula, Fortuna, Ricote, Odios, and Cieza. The State Meteorology Agency has raised the alert for heavy rain and storms in the Altiplano and Vega del Segura to orange level and kept the rest of the territory at yellow level until midnight. The Emmet delegate in the region, Juan Esteban Palenzuela, told us that the warning mechanism had been updated with little notice because the storm that is now moving rapidly eastward could not have been anticipated more precisely, although it cannot be ruled out that heavy rains will recur during the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> 